Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there is no chance of electrocution. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the timer in a Whirlpool dryer. It's going to be a very easy repair. should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For the job, we're going to need a Phillips and a flat blade screwdrivers and a quarter inch nut driver. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new timer. The timer is an electromechanical device that allows you to choose the type and the length of the cycle. If the timer stops working properly, not running on one or more cycles, or there's no heat, or you have to jiggle the knob to make it work, the timer should be checked and replaced if needed. First, we need to remove the timer knob. Grab it firmly and pull it straight out. Then, using the Phillips screwdriver, unscrew the two screws, one in each corner from the back of the console. Push the console out to disengage it from the cabinet and turn it over. Using the quarter inch nut driver, take out the screws that hold the rear cover panel and remove the panel. The timer is mounted with the two quarter inch screws. Before taking it out, take a picture of the mount and the wire connections. Take out the screws and remove the timer. Using the flat blade screwdriver, take the wires from the old timer. This is the old timer next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from AppliancePartsPros.com. Let's connect the wires onto the new timer. Refer to the picture we took earlier. If for some reason you don't have the picture, don't panic and calm down. All the wires are color coded and if you look closer, the timer terminals are marked. Take your time and attach them one by one. After you are done with the wires, mount the timer and secure it with the two quarter inch screws. Install the rear cover and secure it with the quarter inch screws. Match the cutouts and the bottom tabs and lock the console to the cabinet. Using the Phillips screwdriver, tighten the screws on the side of the console to the cabinet. And now we're going to put the timer knob back on, match the cut on the shaft and the cut inside the knob. Push it in, plug the dryer in and check if it's drying properly. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, please Check out our other repair videos available on our site, on Facebook, and on YouTube.